Whether you're manifesting love, health, wealth, success, or even peace, peace of mind, whatever it is, whatever it is that you desire, Shefa is the secret. Hello, my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lira Alexandra. Welcome to the B community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, personal development, and so much more. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that I have been reading a lot about lately. It's this, the Kabbalistic secret to endless prosperity, the concept of Shefa. Now, Shefa is endless prosperity in many ways, whether you're manifesting love, health, wealth, success, or even peace of mind. Whatever it is that you desire, Shefa is the secret to having it. There is an endless, limitless stream of abundance available to each one of us in this reality. We've just been cut off from it. And it's really time for us to return to that well of prosperity and wellness and, and vibrant health and radiance. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to this concept and give you practical ways to use it today. And we'll even finish off with some journaling prompts that will help the information sink in deeply to make a genuine change in your life right now. Before we get started, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, me. Today's video is sponsored by me and my much anticipated and much beloved School of Prosperity, which I only open up once a year, but I missed last year. Please forgive me, we're back this year. This year I'm opening the doors up. All my students get an invite to our upcoming live Zoom workshop, which is unlocking the greatest secret. We're gonna meditate together, we're gonna set our intentions, we're gonna help one another. We're going to unlock the greatest secret to prosperity while becoming more clear about our purpose and our path in life. Also for my School of Prosperity students, in the fall, we're going to start a book and meditation club which I'm really, really excited about doing this with you. So if you wanna be involved in all this goodness, you get access to the School of Prosperity at an insane discount with a link in the description below. 100 people only and we're only open for one week. So along with the invite to this upcoming workshop and to our book and meditation club, you of course get access to the School of Prosperity, which is a self-paced course that will take you on a journey to rewire your brain, to finally believe you are deserving of success and goodness in life. And you'll also learn how to intentionally create success. My school has hours of content, resources, workbooks, reading lists, hypnosis sessions, a guided EFT session, affirmation tracks, rituals, and a ton of bonuses, including five workshop replays, not including the one that we're about to do together. So that's going to be six workshop replays soon. These feature special guests, I teach you the two cup method in them, how to go quantum, accessing infinite potentialities and more. You get everything that you need to shift your mindset and change your life to look like what you always wanted it to. And my thousands of students can tell you that themselves. You're gonna meet many of them in our live stream meetups. I still have beautiful memories from our past live streams. And the best part is if for some reason you don't like it, just send me an email within 28 days you get your money back, no questions asked, guaranteed. I know you'll love it, and if you don't, I don't want you stuck with it, so don't worry about that. Join our cozy, prosperous community and become a student at the link below, and let's get into today's video on prosperity. We have to talk about prosperity a lot in order to align with its energy. So first of all, I wanna to touch on Kabbalah in case anyone is unfamiliar. Kabbalah is a Jewish mysticism. Just like there's other religions have mysticism, like Christian Gnosticism, there's mystical practices that originate from all religions. Kabbalah teaches about universal truths and wisdom, much more so than specific religious practices. So it's open to people outside of the Jewish faith. The mystical wisdom of Kabbalah can be applied by anyone who's seeking spiritual growth and spiritual understanding, but your intention behind practicing is the most important. It's very, very important. Your intention while practicing must be pure. It must be something that you do from and through the goodness of your heart, through an open heart. You don't need to completely change your life and you don't need to not desire the things that you desire, but there does have to be a pure desire, a pure intention behind there. So let's say you are manifesting wealth. Hopefully your intention is to improve your life and also to improve other people's lives. Let's say your intention is to manifest love. Hopefully your intention is to manifest the love of your life and not to steal love from anybody else or, or to seek revenge on anybody else. Does that make sense? So pure intention. 
Anyone can utilize Kabbalistic principles and the concept of Shefa, which we're talking about today. And it's not going to interfere with your religious views or your spiritual beliefs. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to align to this universal concept of Shefa or divine abundance and flow. So firstly, let's go over the mystical concept of Shefa because it's so beautiful. Then we'll get into the nitty gritty of how to use this concept in a practical way. Understanding Shefa encompasses understanding that it is financial wealth, but it's not simply limited to financial wealth, right? It's this holistic sense of prosperity, this whole and complete sense of prosperity. That includes prosperous joy and peace and fulfillment in your life. It's having enough money to be financially free, but it's also having your time freed up to do whatever you want as well. It's having plenty of energy and plenty of health, and yes, plenty of resources. Shefa allows you to have peace of mind, safety in the body and both material and spiritual wealth. The way that I imagine Shefa is I imagine this energy that comes from the creator, from God, from the universe, and how it flows into our physical world. I see Shefa almost as this spiritual umbilical cord that connects us to the divine. So through Shefa, we can receive spiritual nourishment and abundance as a gift, as grace from the divine. Kabbalah teaches that there are 10 sefirot, sefirot, or emanations through which God interacts with our world. These are channels that take the infinite and unknowable energy of the creator and step it down into something that can physically manifest into our world. My professional upstairs neighbor, I love you so much. Thank you for making an appearance. So each sefira represents an aspect of God's nature, such as wisdom, understanding, and mercy, like the wisdom, understanding, and mercy that I am having for this little kid who has been non-stop running since 7 a.m. Shefa is the flow of divine energy that comes from these sefirot, these emanations, into our world. It's this stream of blessings and abundance any one of us can tap into. When we start to understand that this divine flow always exists and for us to benefit from it, we have to simply align to it. That's when life becomes more magical, more ethereal. So how do we align to Shefa? Practicing Shefa is really similar to acting as if, or being as if, or even fake it till you make it, but it's not fake, it's very real. It's a very down to earth way of doing it. So in Judaism, we practice Shefa by cooking up a feast on Shabbat every Friday night, enjoying the Sabbath, enjoying our day off and relaxing like royalty. And we don't deny ourselves from any food or any luxury on Shabbat. So this is Shefa in practice. It's enjoying the fruits of your labor, the fruits of the universe, and taking immense pleasure in even the smallest things. Small luxuries like waking up a little bit later on the Sabbath, right? So you can practice Shefa by being large is what we say, by being generous. Invite a friend out to lunch and pay or upgrade yourself once in a while in some way or take yourself out to a nice lunch. We cultivate this grand abundance, then we harness this source of power by doing these things. I think that the best way to harness Shefa, this, this stream of abundance, is by being a charitable person, by being a giving person. The stingiest among us will only attract more lack. I do not believe that it's true that the rich remain rich by holding on to every dollar. It is only when we are open with our resources and we see money as a tool to improve our lives and the lives of others that we become true magnets of prosperity. The richest people, the billionaires of the world, might know where every one of their dollars goes, but they don't see prosperity and money as something that they need to worry about, right? It's a tool for them. We can learn from that and put aside the evilness, right? So some of the ways that I'll teach you how to use Shefa today will be things that you've already heard, and that's because they work. But I want you to really use them along with this understanding of the divine flow of energy. These techniques will align you to Shefa, and then there's nothing you need to do or not do. The abundance is already yours. So number one, meditate on the concept of Shefa. If a visual came to you through my explanation of Shefa, take that visual and meditate on it. Imagine that there is a source, the creator, from which all goodness and abundance flows from. And that flow is flowing into you now, into your body, into your life, into your soul. So let me know if you want me to create some sort of like guided meditation for aligning with Shefa. 
to help you with this step. Whenever you feel any sort of lack, remember that this stream exists and you must choose to align with it through your thoughts and feelings. The second way that we'll practice Shefa is by cultivating gratitude. You can align with universal abundance by bringing your attention to everywhere it already exists in your life. Practice gratitude by being very thankful. Say whenever you get anything, a compliment, a person holding a door open for you, you find a penny on the floor, or big things like the roof over your head, the food that you eat, your capable body, your health. Be very thankful. Number three, another way to align with Shefa is to consume mindful content such as affirmations, spiritual books, and sacred texts. I really recommend the book, God Makes the Rivers to Flow by Eknath Eswaran. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, I'll link it down below for you. Number four, generosity and kindness. One of the things we learn in Judaism is to always give back, always be giving and always be hospitable. In our home, my love and I have a jar where we every so often we'll put some money in, a 20 here, a dollar bill there, and then at the end of the month, that money goes to a charity. So keeping generosity as a part of your daily life, your routine, this allows you to be more open-hearted. And when your heart is open, you're, you become more receptive and you receive more so that you can give more too. It's a divine flow, Shefa. And number five, take inspired action to align with Shefa. So all the previous ways of aligning to Shefa have now shifted your frequency and your perception of abundance, hopefully, right? If any doubts arose through this, you can work through those. And if you need help doing that, we're definitely, that's what the School of Prosperity is all about. I also have many videos about it. I can link those down below for you and you can work through them yourself. But next, it's time to take inspired action. Our quote of the year at this point is fortune favors the bold. And here is another reminder to you that Shefa requires you to be brave. It requires you to once in a while throw caution to the wind and to follow your bliss and the fire in your heart as far as it will take you. When you are in alignment with this stream of prosperity, resources and opportunities will find you. So learn how to be perceptive so you can pick up on them and listen to your intuition to see if they're meant for you or not. Worst comes to worst, embrace everything with open arms and learn after the fact what's for you and what's not. But remember that you're safe and you will align with Shefa. That's why we're here on the Earth School anyway. It's all for fun and for expansion. Now I want to share a couple journal prompts to understand Shefa better in your life and how to tap into it. So we'll be going more in depth on this in the upcoming workshop for School of Prosperity. Just a reminder, if you wanna make sure you're there and you wanna make sure you're a part of the book club, you can sign up below. So number one, reflect on a moment in your life when you felt true joy and contentment when it came to what you were doing in life. I think this might surprise a lot of people, the answer. Some follow-up questions as A, what were you doing? What were the circumstances? And what insights can you draw from this experience? Something I share a lot is one of the times that I realized how prosperous I was and that I aligned with Shefa is literally when I was home, living at home, my childhood home, and my mom was in the kitchen and my brothers were in the living room and I just felt this sense of peace and contentment, like I'm okay where I am now. And once I had that acceptance and that gratitude and that peace of mind, everything shifted for me from then on. And my YouTube channel blew up and I got an, the idea for alchemy, my jewelry line, and just all these different opportunities opened up. Number two, consider any areas in your life where you feel that you're disconnected from abundance. What might be causing this blockage? What beliefs, what fears, what behaviors are holding you back? And then write about how you might begin to overcome these barriers, whatever comes up for you. That's it for me today on the concept of divine abundance and the flowing energy of prosperity that we all have access to. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you took something away from this. And I acknowledge that there are very real and physical three-dimensional financial issues that people struggle with. We can all get lost in those and we can all feel like the victims of our circumstances. And trust me, I've been there. I'm still, you know, going up against those on a daily basis. But when I remember that there is more to life, there is more to reality than just this, I can step out of my human self and I can look through the eyes of the creator and see infinite possibilities and all these different solutions to my issues. And I want that for you too. I hope to see you in our upcoming workshop. I love you so much. Thank you for spending some time with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure that you have your notifications turned on. Because there's a rumor going around that every time you get a notification from YouTube that I have uploaded a new video, you're going to have a lucky day. And Shefa will open and the doors of opportunity, angels will come down and sing and embrace you. And I just, I wouldn't risk that. You know, I would try to see if that happens. <laughs> I'm kidding. Do whatever you want. I love you so much. Until next time, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye, baby. <laughs>